Welcome everybody. Well, 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 where are we off today? We are off to Rufford Abbey. Do you know anything about it? Follow us as we're going on a great adventure. Set in the beautiful parkland, Rufford Abbey offers over seven, no, over 870 years of history from its origins as a 12th century Cistercian monastery, I can't even say it, to its period as a Jacobean era family home. So we're here at Rufford Abbey Country Park. Just spotted this is also now an English heritage site, palace, house, but it belongs to English heritage here. I've just noticed so that's good. There's a water tower down there. I think this is the stables, old stables, gallery. So what's on today? Pizza van, ice cream parlour, the boat house, the mill tea shop, the shed. So here we are at Rufford Abbey. When I came here last time, you could actually go in there and look around, but now you can't, unfortunately, which is a big shame, but you can see it from the other side. So I will be able to see it from the other side, guys, and see what information it tells me from the other side. But that is a shame. This used to be open. But we're here in the courtyard and the stables and the calf. And like I say, back in the day you were able to go in here, but not anymore. But you can see it from the other side. So we'll go and have a look. So we've been th just been there, coach house. Behind there it says it's all uh, private property. What's going on here? Of different things to see here. There's the Savile Kitchen, which is just under the main hall there as well. We're going to see a few statues because there's a few different statues dotted around here as well, like Rufford Abbey. Uh, let's go and have a look. I'm going to show you that, but we can't go in. Private property, which is a shame. In the past, I've seen that tower. There's a water tower in there. Here is the Orangery Plant Centre. That's nice to see they've made that building out of something because it was just derelict in the past. So they've done something out of it. Uh, I'm taking a photo of what it says on here. The one we went to was News to Dabby. I've just spotted this up here. And then you see? There's one there, there's another one further down. Not too sure what they are, to be honest. And this, what's in there? Private land? Possibly. See, there's more of that thing there. So, that thing I was on about to you down there, there's more of it just there. Let's go and have a look. He's bringing us this way. I quite often follow Jay. He's got an instinct to find places. So, we're going to go along here, see what we find. 
As I've told you, this place is huge. So many things to see here. Um, and it's English heritage that I didn't know. Hopefully we're going to come out near the hall. We'll get some photos near the hall and a bit of a video and a bit more information about the hall. And then we're going to head off towards the mill, if I can find them. The mill is on the other side of the park. Hi, babe. <coughs> Give a wave. <laughs> It's remembering people, look. What? Oh, oh, right. Remembering different people who passed away. And then look. What, miners? The oil pitch. Patch. The oil patch warrior. The statue originally stood in Dukeswood, Irking, on the site of the secret World War II oil wells. Mm. Didn't even know about that. I'm going to have to find out about that. Um, between 1943 and 1945, these wells in the heart of Nottinghamshire produced over three million barrels of high quality oil so there's more information about it if you want to read up about that duke's wood i'm gonna have to look at that duke's wood uh but yeah here's a statue as you can see of a miner and there's quite a few statues dotted around in this park anyway my wife just gone over there i think they're mushrooms sculptures of mushrooms jj look at this here jj AJ's taking it all in. It's a beautiful place. I can see the hall, which I was going to talk about. I just want to see what this is on the right-hand side. If anybody knows what was here where these columns are, and that bit that we walked along there earlier near the orangery, I reckon this was some kind of settlement, some kind of ruins here, maybe even a village here. And I don't think they belong to the original. I think they're replicas again. But I would like to know if anyone knows what was here. Please comment below. Uh, we're going to head towards the hall, then we're going to go around the lake, well we're going to go through the forest, near the lake, to Rufford Mill. Follow us. Here's another couple of sculptures. As I say, they're all dotted around. Is a face there? And some people, let's go and see what we can find. Girl guides are like scouts, aren't they? Oh, isn't that cool? Carved out of the seat. Really cool. I like it. 2010. More sculptures. What's this one? Girl guide, Girl guide in Nottinghamshire centenary seat. Yeah, that's it. Well, they made that. That's quite cool, isn't it? As I say, loads of sculptures and lots of things here, dotted about the park. <whistles> Hello! Come on. Look, JJ's loving that, by the way. He's had some photos with it. Cool. Now, that's a, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Unless I get myself to put my head on it. Like, uh, it's a bit odd. A kid with no head. <laughs> Kid with no head, a bit strange. Not sure what this is neither, there's another Roman replica. Or oh, is this part of the building that was here? I don't know. I'm sure you guys know more than me, so please let us know. We're back here again. Well, I said there must have been some kind of settlement here in the past. But nice to see what it was. So what's in here? Just like a maze, I think, in here. Yeah, just like a maze of some kind. I still can't find that. I still can't find that sculpture that's got like a love heart on it. I've lost it. It's in here somewhere. Got a golf thing in there with sculptures. All oh, right. Golf? What mini golf? Adventure golf. Yeah, yeah. What's that? A beehive? Look. JJ, look. Found another sculpture. This one looks like a beehive. Yeah. Looks a bit like the Gherkin building in, in Nottingham. Hey, Nottingham, in London. 
spotted something going on here from 20th of October to 5th of November that should be cool we're inside the courtyard now again it's a bit like this courtyard reminds me a little bit about like the one in uh, uh, Woolerton Park in Nottingham the style anyway yeah, quite a weird thing to spot in a place like this it's a Roman replica quite interesting right we're gonna carry on we're gonna keep going around looking at more sculptures because there's a hell of a lot of sculptures here we've got the mill to see the boat lakes and the main building which I couldn't get in but you can go around it and look at it from the other side so I plan to do that at some point in this video follow me what the shrine of Nemi what are you saying oh my word for ancient Roman artifacts yeah so read a bit about it all here as I say there's a lot of old things that are found here at Rufford Abbey anyway yeah that's pretty cool bit of information there Is it a Roman replica, isn't it? Nemi. Roman replica. Look, look, little holes, there's all different things in there. What, if you look inside? Yeah. Mm. So we're going to carry on down there. So if you're looking here, you can see things. You can't see anything in it. There's little, like, little sculptures inside of it. What are they, Jay? Touch it. No? They look like, um, mushrooms to me. Let's go and check what this is at. Let's go and check what this is at. Let's go and check what this is. Me and my lingo issues. There's a few more sculptures down here we've noticed. They look like mushrooms down there. But this one here behind me is of a miner, which is normal in this area. That's that um, carvery thing I was on about to here on a Sunday. So we're heading back around down this way, following Jay. As I say, big, big playground area here for kids, which is really cool. So look, anybody know what this was? I'm baffled. An old settlement, maybe? I know there's old ruins around this place. I know that much. But I'm just curious to know if anybody knows what that is, or what that was, or what it is used for. Pretty cool little find. Abandoned, not abandoned, but in ruins. But it goes onto that bit there where we just were a minute ago. Where's Jay gone? Another sculpture there. Just here. A face. There's even a column here. As if there was some kind of fortress here or something. Anybody know? It'd be really interested to know. There's a. Definitely the river went down here. But uh, all scattered around Rufford Abbey is a lot of historical stuff anyway. There's just some river here in the past. It's looked like an embankment here. Definitely some kind of river was here. Behind the orangery, if you know where you are. And you can see how the stone is curved here. And it goes round at an angle. Don't know what this was in the past, guys, but if anybody knows, please comment below. Here at Rufford Abbey Country Park. But yeah, that definitely looks like to me there was something here in the past, guys. Just have to look at it to see it. Anybody know? Please comment below. And welcome to another adventure here with us today with my wife and Jay again. The last one we went on was to... 
Um, where did we go? We've been to a few places recently, but... Down there is where the Ford was. I could see it's blocked off there, just down there. Nobody knows or seems to know why it's blocked off, but it is. Lots and lots of different history here as well. I've just, I was looking at a plaque near the cafe which mentioned about um, World War Two and other things when the king was here or something in the past. Lots of different things have happened here at Rufford Abbey. But we're walking around there, around the gardens. We're going to head to the mill eventually, but I would like to see the building itself as well, where you can't go in anymore. The orangery, I can't remember what it's to do with in the past, but I know, I know right now it's got a plant centre inside. Oh yeah! Nice little building. But last time I came here there's nothing in here, and now it's being used for plants, like a garden centre. Where's that uh, love heart thing we saw? A statue with a love heart, is that down that way? So there's loads of sculptures about. There's one down there with a love heart. There's this one here. I like sculptures. And uh, what does that say? This is called the hand, babe. The sculpture is based... Look, look. Look what it is to do with J. 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 Look. The sculpture is based on the Makaton symbol, meaning good. That's cool, isn't it? <coughs> So, that sculpture is meant to be a big thumb. I can see it now, it's a big thumb. And it's for sensory. That's quite cool, isn't it? I'm going that way. So then we can walk towards sure which side we can see it either go round the other side or go along this side and then round either way we're going to have a look at this beautiful stunning architecture so i think it's really really beautiful follow me that's the water tower that's got no access to must be private now nice little tower though Alright, we're going to go and try and look at that building. Last time I was here, you could go in, but you can't go in anymore. In the beautiful Nottinghamshire countryside, Rufford Abbey is your ideal family day out. That's why we come here today. Yeah, we've walked through the picturesque gardens and grounds, places to relax and eat. Look at the uh, uh, sculptures that we've found, because there's a lot of them. And there's fun and seasonal activities all the way through the year there's something in the air to put a smile on everyone basically we're going to go round i don't know if we can go this way around the other side but we're going to go and have a look at this hall like i said you used to be able to get in but not anymore but it's well preserved and the remains of this abbey um it dates mainly from around 1170 um, and it's incorporated into part of the 17th century and later mansion. So it's a stunning building. As I say, we're going to walk around. It's a shame you can't go inside because in the past I've been inside. Okay. What does that say? To do with World War One and World War Two again, you see? <laughs> yeah. To do their World War Two. <laughs> what does it say there? Move your hand. Move your hand. Ta. Yeah. Explains all about yeah. what happened around here. Look, World War One. So things to do with World War One here as well as World War Two, isn't it, JJ? Are we going around the hall? Yeah. Come on, then. Apart from the fact that there was a lot of World War Two things and different things here in the past. Um, this place is also quite well known to be haunted. I don't know if there's been any ghost adventures here or explorations, but it's definitely known to be haunted, and here's a little bit about it. 
But just here there's a plaque and it says it on here. Ghosts of Rufford Abbey. Rufford with his long involved history would not be complete without tales of a darker, mysterious nature. And it's hardly surprising that the house and the grounds have their share of ghosts. So there's all about it there. Lots of different information. See what it says. The, the Abbey has a widespread reputation for being haunted. And then there's the Church of Edwinstone. That's near um, Sherwood Forest Centre. Uh, Sherwood Forest um, Centre. That's near the tourist centre. That's the church that we passed on another video. So yeah, there's lots of information there about it. A bit more here. So also it tells you about the monks in the Middle Age. Abbeys were more than just religious institutions. The monks that ran them were politicians and captains of industry, as well as being in charge of the spiritual welfare of the country. Is this what this looked like before? Possible. I'm not sure, but then it goes to talk about more there about magic life as a monk, etc. No model aircraft or drone helicopters. That's fine. Hello, JJ. Yeah. So we're going to carry on walking around. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you for all new subscribers as it is, because I know there's quite a lot of you. This is quite a nice little walkway we're going through now as well. There's a lot of nice places here at Rufford Abbey. That's what makes it special. So the Abbey is just down there where Savile's Kitchen is. Come from there. There's many different park like pathways and bits you can go in there's even somewhere people sitting there sunbathing and wrecking the joint not wrecking it but i can't take video and photos properly when there's a load of kids everywhere you know of course i don't want to it's unethical anyway and it's not part of what i do so right next to the hall i've just spotted loads of people there's also the savile kitchen there as well but uh, yeah, beautiful hall. See my wife and Jay down there, near a big oak tree, which is very common in this part of the country anyway, oak trees, quite often in relation to Robin Hood as well. But I like how they've put this gray fence all the way around it because that's, that's a good idea so people don't wreck it at all. And I'm not saying people will try and wreck it, but they might try and climb the tree or they might play near it, etc. Same as this one here, there's a big fence all the way around it. So yeah, we're heading off, walking around in circles as usual, but we're heading off down the bit where there's quite a bit of woodland, and then it goes through near the boat lake to the mill. Follow me. It's on the move. We've just been there to that lake bit and now we're walking around here. I wonder what this was here because it's cordoned off and it says theatre so it must be wild wood theatre so it must be outdoor theatre then. It'd be nice to see what... I know. He's running now. It would be nice to see what happens actually here. Here's the lake again, beautiful. There's a pizza and ice cream place here in the boathouse. The, what? Ink room. Tattoo place. What's this in here? Just spotted this here, the mill wheel. This mill site was first used in 1750 when a doomed three-story corn mill was constructed here. Alright, so it wasn't a water mill then, it was a corn mill. Right on this site here. It was a corn mill. So another fine building. There it is, Rufford Mill. So it was a corn mill. And we're going back this way. Yeah. Going back this way. So yeah, I don't know why that ford there is blocked off, but it is. You can see the river coming through there in the background, just behind there. That's where the feeding bit is. Yeah, we're going that way, Jay. <coughs> <laughs> Ch 
<laughs> just, just shouting. I think this is where the Ford is. Or was. Oh, it's, look. It's been cordoned off now, babe. It was on the news, actually, not long ago. Because I saw about it. You used to be able to drive through here and out the other side. And I don't remember why. But I, I did see something on the news about it. That it's been blocked off. Pottery painting. Yay. All kinds of look. Another hall. Another hall. Another like stables and place here. That's a flower shop. Rainbow End Gallery. And then just behind there is the Ford, where the river goes. There's more statues, but if there is, we'll probably see them anyway. <laughs> Did you find that funny, Jay? Yeah. Hello? JJ? Hello? <laughs> I don't know. He's in most of my videos because he's just walking along in front of me. Yeah, but I'm trying to keep up with him as well. I know. Here he goes. On his mission. It is the right way, so we're following Jay. Lots of squirrels here, we've just spotted. Is this actually like a place for squirrels to come? Because there's lots of nuts here. Hello? Just went in there. That's another bird feed thing. There's a lot of these places here in these woods. This is one different walks here. This one's called Royal Walk and Rufford Ramble. This is to do with the superheroes trail that there is here. So we're not sure where that ice house is, if it's even there, because it's an old building. So Sam thought the ice house was down here, and I'm pretty sure these are the dog and cats, or are they just dogs? I don't know. They are. These are the graves. These are the animal graves, just here. I think. Look, they look quite... What does that say? Dash dash on that one i'm pretty sure these are animal graves just here yeah, yeah? thought so animal graves whose animal grave is my question it might say it there so i'm gonna have a look what it says there and here's another one so they could have been to do with dogs or cats i i'm assuming the dogs i might be wrong it's unique information about this so the animal graves i thought so the animal graves at Rufford cover the last 50 years of the estate from 1880 to its sale in 1938. Domestic and social animals played an important part of any country estate. Yeah, like the one in Bestwood or any of the other ones we've been to. Uh, hunting lodges. Because this was a hunting lodge, then obviously there was animals here. Um, what's that? Rufford sporting tradition continued during the ownership of JJ's looking for some squirrels that he's just spotted. Here's more about Captain Savile and Cremoni. Uh, Captain Henry Savile inherited the estate, as we said earlier. He was a member of the jockey club and a very keen sportsman who bred and owned the 1872 derby winner Cremoni. Or Cremoni? I don't know how to say it. But it was a horse then. Cremoni was a horse. Now, here's a little bit more about them as well. Cremoni. So there's a bit of information there, guys. So I'm going to do like a snapshot of it so people can just read it. And as I say, they are the animal graves just here. Pretty cool. Something different. Hey, guys. Just show you a bit of the building. Rufford Abbey now. Ruins. As I say, you could go in it in the past, but not anymore. Just going to show you a little bit now as we leave here today from Rufford Abbey, here near Ollerton in Nottinghamshire again. We've got more videos to come, more places, including Blissworth, Blissthorpe Mining Museum, Skegby Trail, um, also back up Plesley at some point, doing another trail up there. But from here at Rufford Abbey, guys, it's my pleasure to have showed you around today and I hope you've enjoyed it. Till next time, remember to subscribe, tell your friends 
Let everybody know about this. I'm coming for you. I'm coming to see places near you. Thank you. And enjoy. Take care. Ta-da. Bye-bye. So from me again, as I say, Lost Pilgrim, your guide today, here at Rufford Abbey. I think I need a shave, actually. Um, but yeah, from here at Rufford Abbey in Nottinghamshire. Until our next video, thanks for watching and see you again soon. ta -da. See that bit up there? And back in the day you could climb up there and you could walk across there. But I can see it's like falling now. So they've locked it all off. And you could also go inside there. In the actual Rufford Abbey, you could go. Um, I'd like to hope they're, they're going to be able to reopen this and do a museum again. Because it was epic when I was here. If not, won't, won't be to be. What does it say there? The Rufford Cistercian Abbey, 14, no, 1146 to 1536, the full rise and fall of the white monks. I wonder if they've got some light tourist attraction here then at some point of the year. Anybody know, please let me know and just comment below. But from here today, this stunning building with all the different kind of, like you can see old windows there from a different period. And you can see another window there, some bits there, another door up there. Stunning building, guys, really is. Lots of different periods where it was made there. I'm thinking that could well be a museum down there now, guys. Anybody know? Please let me know. And we're finishing off here, just so you can see where the Savile Kitchen is now, which is just there, closed now. But on a Sunday, you can come here and have a Sunday roast.